The Grammy just called Bonner Boy the best, the biggest star in Africa. They said, there is not a bigger star in Afro beat or even the old Africa itself than Bonner Boy. In NAB 2 consecutive best global album Grammy Notes for his album twice as tall an Africa giant. And he is also collaborated with global stars such as Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber. There is not a bigger star in Afro beats or even the whole of Africa itself. The biggest award when it comes to music entertainment industry, the Grammys, just called Bonner Boy the biggest in Africa. So, guys, the fans, the viewers, the listeners, do you support or do you agree with Grammy calling Bonner Boy the biggest in Africa? Don't be biased. Don't say you have a fab. Be honest with yourself in your heart. Who is currently doing the numbers? Who is currently doing the numbers in concert? Who is currently selling out concert? Who currently has the biggest song? Who is currently having the biggest time when it comes to music entertainment industry in Africa? Be honest with yourself, guys. We know you are fabs. Be honest and leave your comments. Do you agree with Grammy that Bonaboy is the biggest, the best in Africa itself? Well, I know some of you will ask me, Adam Slink, what do you think? This is what I think. Firstly, when Grammy said, Bigger star in Afrobeat. You know, Bonner Boy is not an Afrobeat artist. You can say Bonner Boy is an Afro artist, but Afro fuse artist. He's not an Afrobeat artist. Any award that has to do with Afrobeat, Bonner Boy name shouldn't be mentioned. I said it before. Bonner Boy is an Afro fuse artist because he was the one that generated Afro fuse himself. He said it. He even castigated Afrobeat. So it pains me. For Grammy not to recognize what Bonaboy himself have said is not an Afrobeat artist. It's an Afro fuse. So, please, any award category or anybody giving Bonaboy any prompts for being an Afrobeat, that person needs to recheck himself because the person is giving that prompt to say it's not an Afrobeat artist. But, yet again, Bonaboy is currently. The star from Africa that is doing the numbers. I'm not gonna lie. It's currently the star that is doing the numbers, selling out concert bigger than any other artist in Africa. So that that's my take. I'm not biased. I'm going to say my truth regardless. Hmm? Big up to Bonner Boy having over 10, 10 nominations so far. Bonner Boy, they try. It's currently the Odogu. He said it's the Odogu and it's the Odogu. If not for his words, the way they talk sometimes. <laughs> well, you know, we have other stars, Whiskey, David Doe, and every other person as well. They, they are still doing it, still competing up to today. Bonner Boy and I, in time the day. And if you know, if you understand entertainment, huh? Pace the time will reach, pace the time will come past. So let him make best use of his own time. Make him enjoy him, sell more, wish him all the best success. And the other person again, okay, let me read what uh, Bonaboy wrote. Though, uh, thanking Grammy, he wrote this on his Twitter. He said, Once more, my deepest gratitude to the Grammy Academy for this incredible honor. A huge congrats to the talented African artists who were nominated alongside me. The true win lies in sharing this moment with you all at my show and expressing it through my music. Yes, that is a really, really good one. You know, uh, David Doe already thanked the Grammy. It's good to thank the Grammy. If you want to win Grammy, romance Grammy. Grammy is not what fans, it's no business that fans they give them. 
Grammy is the academy. They, they are the one that comes up with who they want to give our award to. So you have to romance them. Now, five nominations, maybe four nominations. I hope you give uh, each and every Nigeria artist uh, nominated at least one Grammy. I wish them all the best. I wish them all the total best, guys. I wish them all the total best. I wish them all the best. But when it comes to that uh, speech about David O, uh, about a Bono Boy being the biggest, of course. Well, if it comes to Afrobeat, I do not agree. But the biggest in Africa currently, I agree. I agree very, 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 very well. But if you have to do it, Afrobeat, under the umbrella Afrobeat, I do not agree. But the biggest in all uh, categories in Africa, I agree. Bonner Boy is the biggest currently. Don't play. Don't lie to yourself. This is his time. Just like have your fabs, have their own time. Next year, it might be another person. It might be your own fab as well. But you have to agree in your heart that, yes, this is the guy doing the numbers. This is the guy doing the numbers. Just agree in your heart. Daniel Rega said, David O, bagging, bagging, 2024 Grammy nomination is an absolute joke. Timeless is it a dope album to begin with. Both the best African music performance and the best global album list are pathetic. Bonaboy, on the other hand, merited his nomination for best global music performance because alone was a great song. But the I Told Them album doesn't deserve any nomination. Water by Tyler is, uh, is an overhyped sexual song. So why the nomination? Same goes for Aria Star Rush. He conveyed, <laughs> it, that conveyed no meaningful message. Just reading. This is why artists nowadays are more focused on PR and topping chart instead of putting out sensible, relative music. Once again, the Grammy have, no, uh, have nominated people based on favorism. That is coming from uh, Danny Rega. Danny Rega said, David Doe having a Grammy nomination is a total joke. <laughs> It's an absolute joke for David to be dominated for a Grammy. And he also said, uh, Tyler uh, song, Water, make me sway, make me water, make me lose my mind. That is an overhyped sexual song with no meaning, including Aria Star, Rush. Overhyped is just beating and singing, nothing more. No meaningful message passed to the society. And meanwhile, Bonner Boy said Bonner Boy deserves one nomination, but the I told them album doesn't deserve any nomination. Ah! Than the Riga. But we already know Grammy is about people they favor. It's favorizing. We, are, we, are, we already know that, come on, man. We know that. It's favorizing. Forget now who they like now they give Grammy. It's not about best you can sing and all those kind of things. But that talk was so harsh, Daniel. Take it easy. Relax a bit. Relax. But as a viewer, as someone who listens to their music, you have every right to, to criticize. Yes, so that is the that is Daniel Rega right to criticize and also speak his mind. Which he has spoken his mind. Which he has spoken his mind. So you might say Daniel Rega is harsh, but he has spoken his mind, and uh, some of his uh, some of his mind are kind of like understand it. But you don't know what it takes to to go into a recording studio to record music. You do you even know how difficult it is to even hold your phone and even talk like sing, like comprehend some kind of words together. It's really hard. It's really really difficult. One of the person that I want uh, to win to be nominated for a Grammy, I've been really, really, really attached to his music recently. Is Bujo, Bensi. Honestly, man, 
we should bless it a single, but it's just that because of PR and uh, promotion and all those kind of stuff, that's why so many entertainers do not get nominated. Eh? They do not get nominated because of PR. We have so many, many people. Sake really deserved that Grammy. Lamy do deserve that Grammy nomination very, very, very well. They all deserve it, guys. They all deserve it because it's not easy to compose music. If you think it's easy, try it and go to the studio and just check the mindset to even go to the studio to record music. It's really difficult. 